throughout the Latin week to say Happy Thanksgiving! I know it's a bit ridiculous to be talking about Thanksgiving and Hanukkah in front of a Christmas tree. <laughs> Alas! But we just had a Christmas party here at Rebecca's Rooms of Requirement because classes end this week for term one, so many of the international students are, you know, floating back home. So before everyone left, it was time for gift giving. Um, so that was grand fun. However, tonight is the first night of Hanukkah, and so I thought I would take this opportunity to chat about Thanksgiving, as it has been uh, <laughs> named. Uh, for the first time since 1888, uh, Thanksgiving and the first day of Hanukkah fall in the same Gregorian dates. Uh, because Hanukkah moves with the Jewish calendar, it and the Gregorian, the standard calendar, don't match up. So things, er, Hanukkah moves all about. Uh, Thanksgiving is the fourth Thursday of November and thus moves date but not day. Uh, but... They match up this year, so we are having dreidel-filled turkey. No, not really. Uh, <laughs> but lots of happy celebrations uh, going on around. And you just good excuses to get your holiday on. Uh, okay, but Hanukkah. Hanukkah is an eight-day Jewish celebration uh, commemorating the rededication of the temple uh, in the second century BC. Uh, so this is the second temple. A temple had been destroyed. They rebuilt it. Monica celebrates the dedication of this. Uh, a lot of myth around, you know, oil that lasts for long periods of times and that kind of thing. Um, it is primarily just a celebration of the temple uh, involving lots of candles um, and stories around the importance of that kind of thing. Um, traditionally, there are special blessings over the candles, uh, which and it's a nine branch menorah rather than the standard seven branch um, to mark extra nights. There will be special specific prayers to Hanukkah. Um, in American Jewry, some um, children receive gifts for Hanukkah, uh, you know, as an alternative to Christmas gifts. That is not necessarily something particularly of religious significance, uh, as far as I know. Uh, there's now kind of traditional Hanukkah foods, many of them fried, uh, to kind of hark back to the story of the oil. Um, I think it's a great reason to eat fried food. Uh, and then the dreidel is probably perhaps one of the most recognized, well-known things other than the menorah uh, for non-Jews. The dreidel is a four-sided spinning top, um, although now there are all kinds of ones that aren't actually this anymore. <laughs> um, but for a proper Hanukkah dreidel, um, each side has a, a Hebrew letter on it um, that spells out in Hebrew a great miracle happened there, um, talking about the miracle of the oil. Um, and then Thanksgiving also happening. Um, for those of you not in North America, you may not be super familiar with this tradition. Uh, these days, Americans stuff their face. <laughs> um, but in theory, um, this is in the United States celebrates on the fourth Thursday in uh, November and Canadians on the on Monday in October. I think it's the third. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. The second or third Monday. I'm sorry, Canada. Um, a Monday in October, earlier than the Americans do. That, we just always tease them about that. Um, except that actually the Canadian Thanksgiving falls much closer to like the harvest, <laughs> which is kind of the original point. So Canadians probably have it right, or at least more right than we do. Um, in the United States, there's a lot of stories around uh, pilgrims and a Plymouth Rock celebration of a good harvest. Um, so school children will grow up with pilgrim hats and that kind of thing around this time. That itself is actually poorly documented. Documented, However, on the 26th of November in 1789, the first American president, George Washington, did proclaim a nationwide Thanksgiving celebration. Um, it was a day of public Thanksgiving um, and grateful hearts. Thank you, God, for all the favors you've given us kind of thing. Um, so now it's a day off um, and traditionally the day after. After thanking the world for all of the things they have, Americans go out and buy lots of things for Christmas and everything goes on sale. Um, uh, like almost every other holiday, shockingly, it's become super commercialized. Um, but this year, they start off on the same. Uh, so wishing you a very happy holiday season and hoping that, you know, you're able to get close to the things that are really important rather than all of the commercialization and buying a big, large, lovely tree. <laughs> but it's so pretty.